This video will demonstrate the steps taken to create 3D views of borehole data using the Rockworks 15 software. If you would like to create a strip log diagram in Rockworks, you should enter your data into the Borehole Manager database. To create a 3D view of your boreholes, go to Strip Logs, Multilog 3D. In the resulting menu, you should see a list of options on the left side of the screen, a tab displaying instructions on how to use the feature to the right, and a 3D strip log designer tab to the right of that. Click on the 3D strip log designer to see the current log design stored in the project. The log designer is composed of three panels. The list of visible items is displayed on the left. As items are checked on, they are displayed in the layout preview panel to the right. Each visible item is displayed as a circle, and the layout preview represents a bird's eye view of the relative location of the columns in the three-dimensional strip logs. Column location can be adjusted in the preview pane by clicking and dragging the circles with your mouse. First, I'll create a 3D view showing lithology and water level data. I'll turn on the lithology column in the visible items pane and change the column radius to a size of 1.0. I'll turn on the aquifer column and set up a time-based filter to show a single sampling event. The resulting diagram is displayed in the Rockplot 3D viewer where the view can be zoomed, rotated, and panned. To update the features in the 3D view, such as the column widths, simply return to the 3D strip log designer. Here, I'll decrease the width of the lithology column by 50%. And, I'll shift the location of the water level symbols over so that they are flush with the lithology column. When I click on the process button, the 3D view is updated. Now, I'll demonstrate some tools for visualizing downhole numerical information in this case, benzene concentration values measured in soil samples stored in the interval data table in the Borehole Manager database. I'll return to the strip log designer and turn off the lithology and aquifer items. I'll turn on the iData column and be sure that the program is directed to the benzene soil iData type. This will plot a color-coded cylinder at the location of each sample. First, I'll tell the program to scale the size of the cylinders logarithmically. I'll choose a table-based fill style, and I'll confirm that the program will be plotting cylindrical shapes at each sample location. When I click on the Process button, the 3D log diagram is updated to show the color-coded shapes representing soil sample concentrations. Finally, I'll add a legend and a surface representing groundwater elevations. Now I'll save the file and send it to my clients and colleagues so that they can view it in the free Rockplot 3D viewer. Thanks for watching.